on Thursday night. And with Virginia having won the first two, looking to salvage on what is a mid-50s day here at the University of Virginia. Second pitch of the ball game, lined into right field, and there's a base knock for D'Onofrio, who gets things started for the Tar Heels of the long ball in game two. Runner on the move after a couple of checks, and the throw down is well in time, but the call is going to be safe. In a lacrosse showdown that is on the network as we speak. This kicks away, runner to third as D'Onofrio continues his journey around the base pass and put eyes on these two top 15 clubs. Honeycutt takes off. The throw down is behind his arrival at second base. No question here. His father, Jason, an infielder for the Hoos. And he makes his mark on this series by grounding it right through the infield into center. That's going to be a two RBI knock. And Cook puts UNC on the board. Stevenson awaiting the payoff pitch. And he'll take a call strike three on the inner third. Back to the fastball. Kerr Vance Academy product now in his senior campaign. Lines this into left field, and that'll keep it from being a nice and tidy one, two, three inning for Kevin Jaxel. So you get a glance at him at first. Donafrio rears back and turns loose on this 2 2 offering, and he will deposit the fastball well over the fence to double North Carolina's lead. There is that two out noise the Tar Heels were looking for. Carolina out front 4 nothing. When you see the fielders barely move, as was the case with Salki in right field, pretty good indicator it's squared up nicely. 490 feet later, it is 4 nothing Tar Heels. He's 2 for 9 with those two long balls. Looking for his third hit here, and he'll have it. That dumped in front of the left fielder, Didaway. Another two out hit. Runner on the move again, and Another back swipe, Honeycutt with his 19th of the season. All this second inning damage done for North Carolina with two outs. Maybe more of it, lined into left field. They are going to send the runner, Honeycutt, with all his speed, and the throw will come into second base. Make it 5 nothing Tar Heels. He was a Georgia Bulldog before he brought his talents to Chapel Hill. Down to third, fair ball inside the line, and it's going to get by Hanson. Motoring all the way around from first is Cook. He will touch the plate, make it 6 0 Tar Heels on Harbor's first run driving contribution of the weekend. 3 0 pitch also misses on four pitches. Stevenson out to second. And O'Farrell, who was playing in the usual second base position, will sidearm at the first. Ford, a three home run performer. And the opener on Thursday. And he sends this right back up the box. It'll eventually find its way into center field. Average now at 420 in real time. And he will put a charge into this left field side. That is going to hop over the fence for, well, that looked like a, a ground rule double. As it appeared to clear the yellow line on a hop. Led off back to back innings in the seventh and the eighth with home runs. Chops one up the middle here. That'll put Virginia on the board. As it is a productive ground out, bringing Henry Ford to the plate. Now 6 1. Two hits currently on the board for Virginia for looking for another. And a swing and a miss uh, up around the eyes. Make a difference. Key overall transfers that make a difference. Here's a liner into center field, and that's a base knock. Griff O'Farrell. You certainly think about it with the speedy O'Farrell over there. Bounce right back up the middle. A piece of it from Sprague, and that may have disrupted it enough that everybody's going to be safe. Between the mound and second is over at first. And forward, down to third. Glove by the third baseman, but it is thrown wildly to first. O'Farrell will score. And obviously drove home three in that instance. You can give him four RBIs in the series. There's his second hit. Right up the middle and through. Home to touch the plate is Whalen. It is now 6-3 as Virginia in the last two frames has cut the Tar Heel lead in half. As you think through that one more time, robbed of that base knock late on a tremendous play. Two for ten, though he draws a walk. 3-2, right side, well-placed defensive alignment and a double play for Virginia. 1-1 coming his direction now, and that's sent right back up the middle. 
backhanded play by the second baseman and though there was a nice pick at the end of this. Of course all those other ACC series finishing up tomorrow so you're talking game two of those respective tilts. Long throw and Salki's going to be able to beat this out. And a key top 15 ACC showdown on this Saturday. And Didaway puts a charge into the first delivery his direction. Deep left. When you talk about going and playing at the next level. Among those uh, doing their good work collegiately right now. This is going to split the gap. The latest of uh, the contributions for D'Onofrio. He's going to think three. Here comes the relay throw. It's actually not going to occur. By the time Virginia worked it to the relay group, D'Onofrio was well on his way, and he's got a three-bagger and a walk today. He has not been retired. Until now, eight till comes on, wins the matchup, strikes out Vance Honeycutt. Taking his talents from Greenville right in the shadow of East Carolina University, a team Virginia became very familiar with in regionals last year. Punches this to the right side. It'll be a single. And Anderson has brought the tying run to the plate. It's on eight hits, no errors. For Virginia, bunted beautifully by Hanson, and he will sacrifice them both over in the scoring position effectively. Of the seven he faced and gave up a couple of runs. Virginia making a bid for a couple of more, but this is smothered out at second. The throw from Madera in time. They'll trade the out for the run with the Tar Heels as Virginia inches closer to run game. And the 1 0 Farrell. He'll line this in the left field. Inches Virginia much closer. And O'Farrell with his RBI double now represents the tying run in scoring position. With a tying run in scoring position. Virginia has tied it with a 3 1 sixth inning. Bobby Whalen with his third hit of the day delivers. 2 1 pitch coming to Casey Salke. That pops off the mitt of Stevenson, and it's going to mean Virginia will have the go ahead run. High and tight, ball four. Here's the 1 1 of the first year hometown product, and he'll bounce this up the middle. Deep in the hole, there will be no play. Here's a throw to third, snap throw. Swing and a miss, strike three. Poston wins the battle and will leave him loaded with hooves. When you see that name across the back of a jersey. Whether you're talking about his dad or his brother, this sent in the air to right field though. And that's gonna be the negative side of it emotion wise is a round tripper having been secured by Harbor. Here's the surge, the return from a power standpoint for the leading slugger coming into this week in recent memory for North Carolina. Harbor's first home run as he has come to life here in the finale. Osuna drills this into center field, and that's a base hit to follow up with Harbor's latest home run. Hitter of the week living up to it. This is given a charge. Deep center. Reaching up and seeing that go off the batter's eye, it would appear, for a second home run in the inning is Whalen. He couldn't get to it located or bring it back. And the Tar Heels with a pair of home runs in the seventh, having reestablished that three run lead, Virginia erased in the bottom of the last frame. North Carolina doing so in the blink of an eye. Completely different story yesterday, though Virginia won it 7 2. Left hander out of Ohio. Delivers low and now back into the Virginia bullpen and he delivers his 1 0. Honeycutt will bunt it. Wolfolk's going to go to third and it's thrown away third base side. Up to his feet is Wilkerson. He'll come home to score. North Carolina's lead at 10 6 and the staff opting to not deal with Cook again to the cleanup man. Put in play by the drawn in infield. Two runs are going to come home to score and North Carolina has now doubled up Virginia on the scoreboard. It is 12 six Tar Heels in the eighth. North Carolina team. As the walk is drawn by Jackson Vanderbreek in the second as well. 
And he'll tomahawk a 3-1 out into left. Backing up on it is Didowick. He'll make the play. And this one is going to work its way. Out of the leadoff spot. Also a couple of nifty plays defensively as usual. O'Farrell, who handles the bat well, will bunt this third base side. He is retired. First time in over a decade they had taken down two top ten foes in ACC series in the same year. Salki will pull him a little closer. He bounces this up the middle around third. Here's Henry Ford. Hard hit ball on one hop to short. Short route taken by Wilkerson, that force. Up to Ethan Anderson. Shallow right. And after taking a step or two back, there just wasn't enough time. Here's the payoff pitch. Just a piece of it, but right in the mitt of Stevenson, and that'll drop the curtain on the finale. That's the ball game. North Carolina, a 12-7 winner.